construction, I guess the foundation was laid in 1986, and construction took six years to complete. And uh, one unique, well, there's uh, several unique things about this building. Uh, the four sides, each side is different. As you got, if you got it, uh, we'll show you eventually uh, the different sides of this building. And construction was completed in 1992. <laughs> गीत उसके शुक्र के गाते चलो हर नसीहत उसकी है दर से है The iconic Bethel Islam Mosque was inaugurated 30 years ago on October the 17th 1992 Located in Mon Bethel Islam Mosque is one of Canada's largest mosques and also serves as the main headquarters of the Ahmadiyya Muslim Jamaat in Canada the beating heart of Peace Village, the mosque is a visible landmark from every street in the local area, making it a spiritual home and sanctuary from near and far. I moved here in 1987 when this was all farmland. And as the mosque property began to develop, um, the city officials actually told us that there wouldn't be any development in Vaughan for decades to come. And we can see that in a very short period of time, the roads were uh, expanded to you know, make room for all the new uh, travelers. And then houses were built and uh, plazas. So every sort of amenity that we needed that we didn't have before was provided for us. And all of these luxuries were because of the blessing of the Jalsa grounds, the masjid, then the Peace Village. And Alhamdulillah, this town has flourished. The streets surrounding Bethel Islam have been named after prominent members of the community, including the Khulafa, with the main road named Ahmadiyya Avenue. Celebrating three decades of Bethel Islam takes us down memory lane to the very beginning when the foundation stone was laid by Hazrat Khalifa al Masih IV in 1986 in what had previously been a cornfield along a lonely highway. It was the first structure that was built in the original 25-acre parcel of land before many members of the Ahmadiyya Muslim community chose to build their homes around this vibrant center. The foundation stone of Bethel Islam Mosque, Canada, Toronto, was set in 1986. And I came here in 1987. And at that time, there were all area full of trees. The construction of mosque was started after 1990. At that time, as the National Amla, uh, we decided that all the money we raise for, from the Mina Bazaar, it will be donated for the construction of mosque. So much dedication was there. And the ladies worked very hard to raise money more and more every year. The first Mina Bazaar, that uh, held under my presidentship, we raised $18,000. I can't forget the historical day of October 1992, when Hazrat Khalifa Masih Rahmanullah inaugurated the Bethel Islam Mosque. We were so excited that Hazur is inaugurating this mosque. And uh, Hazur uh, Rahmanullah said in his Friday sermon that uh, before that, Hazur Sarman was uh, uh, live broadcast, broadcasted in four continents. But this is the special day when in each corner of the world, Hazur's voice was being spread. This was the revelation of Hazrat Masih Ramad al-Islam. I will cause thy message to reach the corners of the earth. I have lived in Peace Village for the past 18 years. I can still remember when the Ambia Park was not built and it was large hills of sand. The path was made by members of the Jamaat that would walk physically by their footsteps for all five daily prayers. Over time, the Majid became a second home for my siblings and I. We used to attend Nasrath and Bakhtino classes, play in the park surrounding the Masjid, make friends, and grow up in a community that would help and support us. It was the first point of contact for many of the community members who had been forced to flee their homeland because of religious persecution. In fact, it was the first place where many came because they were free to profess their faith 
and identify themselves as Ahmadi Muslims without fear. When Hazrat Khalifa al-Masih IV, Rahmullah returned to inaugurate Bet al-Islam, six years later, he expressed his heartfelt desire that this mosque should be filled with even more worshippers, offering their daily prayers five times a day. In 30 years, Bet al-Islam has opened its doors and played host to countless national and international programs, with dignitaries from across Canada in attendance. From the local mayor to the Prime Minister of Canada, all have come to witness the Ahmadiyya Muslim community practice and preach the true teachings of Islam, embodied by the motto, love for all, hatred for none. MT International, Canada Studios. Gate <laughs>